Hey there, stackers. What's up? Big Stack McGee here with another silver video for you. Hope everyone out there is doing great. I have an unboxing from eBay that I'm going to get to here shortly. Um, you know, I've been finding myself spending a little bit more time on eBay recently for several reasons. One is I found some pretty good deals, and that you know, finding a good deal uh, spurns spurs you to do more <laughs> research and and to spend more time on there, I guess. But eBay's also been doing a lot of their promotions with their eBay bucks of um, offering two times, three times, four times um, rebates on any one item as long as it's not a part of the bullion category. You know, you can search for silver on U.S. coins and coins and paper money or foreign coins or whatever. And uh, I just had an opportunity a couple days ago. I got a 10% off coupon. It's not the same coupon that I've seen like uh, folks like uh, Sharp and Shiny use. This one was an eBay bucks 10%. It basically said, F, any one item, you know, you have one day to use it kind of thing. And so I was able to pick something up, which I hope will uh, be here soon. But just tonight, I was uh, surfing around on eBay, and, and like I have been recently, what I've been doing is I pull up one tab, which is uh, U.S. coins, and I put it as a newly listing, or newly listed, and buy it, on, buy it now. And then the second tab, I do uh, bullion, you know, buy it now, and uh, newly listed. And then I've also been looking at uh, foreign coins, um, buy it now, newly listed. And so when I have those three tabs on the computer, every now and then when I'm doing my work, I'll just scroll back over and I'll refresh each one and just see if there's any anything current within the last couple minutes that I've been listed that you might need to act on. Well, I, I got a really nice score, I think. <laughs> I won't know until I get it. Um, it was a, a, a large lot of foreign coins, and some of them are silver. And uh, the particular thing had a, you could bid on it, you know, it was $9.99 or buy it now for, it was like 20 bucks or something like that, $20, $27.99 or something like that. But I saw a couple of 1930s, and it looked like uh, Colombian silver coins, and I had had some experience in the past seeing some, so I just bought it right away and uh, figure I'll sort it out later. I hope I, <laughs> I it's going to be a kind of a mystery opening that package because after I go back and look at it, it's the the pictures are not great, but uh, it's the kind of deal where someone had an estate sale find and they just listed them. They said they think some of them are silver and whatnot. So I really don't know what I'm in for uh, when I get that. I, I usually don't take gambles like that, but it was a cheap enough, uh, you know, a little bit more than an ounce of silver, and I think it was over 30 foreign coins. So we'll see. You know, I might have got burnt, and if so, you'll see it. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, and we'll talk about what I picked up. Okay, what I have here is uh, two sacks of United States 50 cent pieces, 90% um, silver. First one is a lot, uh, 1964, 15 of them, Kennedy half dollars. Looks like they're in uh, pretty good shape, you know, kind of definitely in circulated condition. And the other is 24 Franklin halves, although as I'm looking at it, I see one of the Kennedys here, so I'm i be really curious to uh, lay this stuff all out and see what I actually have in here. I'll make sure I have the right number. Um, this particular scenario was, again, it was a, a score I got on eBay, which was a buy it now, newly listed, so it, you know, someone had just put it on. My usual things is I look right away first when I, I'm interested in something. I look at the seller, make sure that they have 100% feedback rating, lots of sales, and, uh, and whatnot, so I feel some modicum of trust for that person. <laughs> to not get ripped off, but um, they were selling multiple lots of silver, and this is the kind of thing where you pay one shipping charge and the other one is uh, any other lots you buy, or just you know, a dollar more for shipping or whatever. But what this works out to is, um, we'll go ahead and get these out while I'm talking here. What this works out to is $16 um, you know, for a dollar face, or $8 for each 50 cent piece which also works out to right around $22.11 melt value for silver. So that's what I paid for these, was uh, $22 an ounce, or $8 for each coin, or $16 face if you want to do it that way. So it ends up being uh, 39 um, 50 cent pieces, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out and see what I got, count them up, and then I'll be right back with you. 
All right, let's take a little bit of a closer look. Um, upon further inspection, I have 16 Kennedys and 23 Franklins. It was supposed to be 15 Kennedys and 24 Franklins, but it still works out to 39 halves, which is what I paid for, so no harm, no foul as far as I'm concerned. Let's take a closer look here. You'll see these are in uh, pretty grimy condition, which is not a big deal at all. The nice thing is that they're not terribly worn. You know, there's a little bit of surface scratching perhaps and whatnot, but um, they're actually not not too bad. And I have a I have a pretty great affinity for for U.S. silver half dollars, um, especially the the Franklins. I really like them. Um, and I'm going to continue to pick them up whenever I can, especially when I can find them for cheap prices like I, like I got them. You know, I can remember when I used to pay more, more than $10 per coin for these, and to get them at $8 a coin is just awesome. And it brings, it uh, continues to bring my cost average down on my entire stack to make purchases like this. So um, I, I absolutely love these kind of pickups. I, f I feel like it's a very liquid kind of investment. Um, everyone knows what these kind of coins are, and... Um, so I enjoy them, and um, I'm going to continue getting them. It's funny, last month I got mostly government bullion. It just, it's kind of the way it shook out because of the deals that are out there. And this month, this month I kick off uh, March with 14 ounces of uh, silver in the form of U.S. half dollars. So I have uh, several other unboxings coming up. And, uh, boy, I'm just, you know, it's been over a year now on Facebook. In fact, I think the end of February of 2013 is when I started my channel. So I'm kind of having an anniversary of sorts. But uh, I am uh, more enthused or excited about silver and stacking than I have been probably in my entire uh, career of doing it so far. So that's pretty cool. And um, the unboxings are going to come fast and furious. So with that, I bid you adieu. This is Big Stack McGee. Thanks so much for watching my video. And we'll be back with you shortly. Have a great night, guys.